you recall the movie WALL-E where everyone had lived in space and sat in those hover chairs for so long that their bone mass had deteriorated and when they tried to stand up they couldn't walk very well? Hi, I'm Dr. John Charles from NASA's Human Research Program. During the one-year International Space Station mission, NASA will conduct physical performance studies to learn more about the effects of weightlessness on our bones, muscles, and heart. In space, our bones and muscles are essentially in a resting state. On Earth, however, gravity is pulling and working out our muscles and bones whether we realize it or not. This is why physical performance is a top priority for our astronauts on the International Space Station. Two studies will evaluate a new exercise regimen and monitoring technology geared to protect our bones and muscles and measure changes in the hip region. This area is more susceptible to bone loss. Pre-flight and post-flight muscle performance will be measured using various technologies such as MRI scans and ultrasound. Oxygen levels and heart rate will also be checked in flight. Researchers hope by increasing the intensity of a workout with weight and aerobic activity that they can decrease the total amount of exercise time and space and better protect the bones, muscle, and heart. This data could also help define and mitigate risks for early onset osteoporosis. To learn more about NASA's Human Research Program, visit www.nasa.gov.